going to show you how to downgrade your iPod Touch MC model from iOS 4 to 3.1.2 and jailbreak it using red snow and black rain. And this jailbreak will work, I promise you, I'm not doing you guys. Um, I will show you right here that I am on 3.1.2 and I do have an MC model iPod Touch. And the only reason why I downgraded and is because you know there was no jailbreak and I've always wanted to jailbreak my iPod Touch and it took some persistence but I finally figured it out and as you can see I'm on 3.1.2 and I'm on the MC model and we are going to go and I'm going to show you how to do it I'm already jailbroken so I'm just going to walk you through this process okay alright what you want to do you plug your device onto your computer so let's just pretend I plugged it in and what we're going to do here is we're going to open up iTunes and once you open up iTunes hold on, it's going to load for a second and once you open up iTunes you want to go to your uh, devices and it's going to show your iPod touch and where those things says restore I want you to click shift while clicking restore at the same time so when you're at you know when it's at devices and you're at your iPod touch you click this button you want to click shift you want to click shift right here as you click restore and it will go to choose your file and I'm gonna have the links posted up for all the stuff you need to download you're gonna want to have your 3.1.2 firmware you're gonna want to have your red snow and then you're going to want to have your black rain. And don't worry, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do this. And this will work, I promise you. So once your device is on iTunes and you put it in recovery mode, I mean, not recovery mode, when it's restoring to 3.1.2 from when it's downgrading. So what you want to do is once you press shift and restore, you find your file, you find your 3.1.2 firmware and you use that firmware. It'll verify and then it'll downgrade your iPod Touch to 3.1.2 firmware. And then what you want to do once your 3.1.2 is over with, you want to go to Windows. And this is this works for all uh Windows and Mac. Um what you want to do is you want to go to your C drive. You want to go to see program files then you want to go to see common files and then once you get the common files you click Apple then you go to Apple applica application support and this should look the same on your computer and you want to take your black rain this is to fix your black rain so it works on iTunes 9.2 and you want to drag it and I mean you want to copy it and paste it right by the ASL DLL problem and that will fix all the problems so now what you want to do is you got that done you want to make a shortcut of that copy that was just in there where the ASL DLL was and drag it down to right here and the first thing you're going to do when your device has been restored to 3.1.2 you want to click on your red snow and you do not want to extract the files so you click on it you run red snow without extracting it you just run it and so once you extract the file all you have to do is click run you want to browse for your firmware and then you want to set it for 3.1.2 and it's going to verify your firmware and once it's verified I'm just going to exit out of that you click through you set it up you know MC model you know all that stuff and what's gonna happen is it's gonna jailbreak and since you're on iTunes 9.2 and you downgraded you're gonna be you know it's gonna it's gonna go straight into recovery mode when you're using red snow and this is where black rain comes into play you click on black rain and you run it and it will work now that you got the ASL DL file working see how I have it right there you don't want to click on the shortcut I found out what you want to do is you want to go to the same place where I just showed you and you go back to your C drive and then you go back to program files oops program files 
You want to go to Common Files, and then you want to go to where, Apple, and then once you get to Apple Application Support, you run it from there, and that's where you click, and that's where you click Make It Rain, and it will show Geohot's face, the creator of this program, and it will jailbreak, and then you will be jailbroken. And if you are on the iPod Touch MC model, it will be tethered, which means every time it turns off, you will have to um, run Black Rain again. But no problem, you just go back to Common Files, and then you click Make It Rain, and you'll be out of recovery mode, and you'll be back to your jailbreak. You will not lose any of your data. And I hope this helped you. Leave all your comments at the bottom, and that's about it.